Welcome to my tutorial on exploring for mind-blowing CapCut PC features that will take your editing skills to the next level. Let's start with the first feature, Chroma Key. Use this video with the green screen as our example. To start, click on the video and then head over to the right side of CapCut and click on Cutout. Next, click on Chroma Key. You'll see a color picker on the right side with a small pen icon. Click on it and select the color you want to remove in this case, the green screen. Now, if you want to add or change the background, simply drag and drop the desired background onto the timeline. Ensure that the background doesn't cover your main subject by arranging the layers. You can do this by clicking and holding to bring the main video to the top. Make any necessary adjustments to the size and position of your subject. Play around with the strength settings until you achieve the desired look. If you want to enhance the effect, consider adding a shadow effect for more depth. Once you're satisfied with your edits, play the video to see the final result. Remember, a little fine tuning may be needed to perfect the green screen effect. And there you have it. You've successfully removed the green screen and added a new background to your video. Moving on to the second feature, motion tracking. Use this video as an example. I'm going to track this person in this video. We can do motion tracking with an image or we can also do motion tracking with text. Now, we do motion tracking with text. To begin, head over to the left side of CapCut and click on text. Choose a default text style, drag it to the timeline, and customize the text as needed on the right side of CapCut. Position the text wherever you prefer in the video. Now, click on Tracking on the right side and select the Motion Tracking icon. A yellow tracking box will appear on the video. Adjust the box to the object you want to track whether it's a person, a bird, or a boat in motion. In our example, we'll be tracking the person in the video. Simply place the yellow tracking box over the person, resize, and rotate the tracking box to suit your needs. You can experiment with the scale and distance settings to find what works best for your video. Once you're ready, click on Start and let CapCut do its magic by tracking the motion. If you want to try motion tracking with an image or a picture, the process is similar to what we just did with text. Feel free to experiment and get creative with this feature to enhance your videos. Now let's explore the third feature, text-to-speech. Select your video and add it to the track. To start, go to the left side of the CapCut and click on the text. Choose this default text drag, just click and hold then and drop it to the timeline. You can customize the text and position it anywhere you want in the video. Then, go to the right side of the CapCut. 
click on text-to-speech. Here, you see a bunch of different voices that you can choose. Just click them one by one to see which one you like the most. Now, let's explore the third feature, text-to-speech. Now, let's explore the third feature, text-to-speech. Choose this voice and click Start Reading here, and it will apply text-to-speech. You will have the audio file over here. Now, let's explore the third feature, text-to-speech. If you don't want the text in your video, you can delete them. We can just right-click, then click on Delete. Play the video to hear the text-to-speech in action. Now, let's explore the third feature, text-to-speech. And then your video will just have the text-to-speech, but without any text on the video just like this. Lastly, let's dive into the fourth feature, freeze frame. Use this video as an example. Let me just play the video and show you what it looks like now. To start, select the frame you want to freeze. Move this play cursor to its approximate position. and then use the left and right keys of the keyboard to fine-tune it left and right so that you can accurately find the frame you want to freeze. Then, click the freeze icon. You can see that we now have an extra frame over here. Let me just play the video and show you what we have. The frame we selected was successfully frozen. We can adjust how long the frame to be frozen. If you want it to freeze just for a short while, then we can just do this click and hold and make it shorter. If you want to freeze the frame for a lot longer, then just extend it like this. Now let me play the video and show you what we have again. Thank you to everyone who watched the video until the end. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.